When Mario Kart 8 Deluxe announced DLC last year, simply titled the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass, we were all hyped up that we are getting fresh new content in the game. When the DLC launched, it went off to a really bad start, as the graphics for the game are bad. The maps and textures match Mario Kart Tour's graphics and maps, like Sky Garden for example, and you cannot call that grass on Toad Circuit. However, over time, the graphics and selections for the DLC have gotten better when new waves have been released, especially Riverside Park, which that is what you call grass. As of March 2023, Wave 4 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass has been launched, and that got me thinking about the remaining tracks that could appear in the DLC. Welcome back to the Observatory, everybody, and welcome to my very first prediction video where I discuss the remaining 16 tracks that could be added in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. This prediction video discusses tracks that are in Mario Kart Tour, the data mines that were found in the files of the DLC, along with the music leak that was found in the DLC, and I will piece my predictions based on this data mine chart that was found after the launch of Wave 2. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you're notified of all my future videos, and while you're at it, pick up some merch from my merch store, and join the channel for early access to videos. But the last two are completely optional. So without further ado, let's start this prediction video. The first prediction isn't much of a prediction, as the first thing that I will be discussing is the number of tracks that are selected from each Mario Kart game. As of Wave 4, this is where the data mine stands in terms of how many tracks in each generation is left in the DLC in comparison to the data mine chart. However, things have changed starting in Wave 3. GCN Waluigi Stadium was supposed to be in Wave 3, however, it has been replaced by Wii Maple Treeway. In Wave 4, Los Angeles Laps was supposed to be in the Wave, but it was replaced by Bangkok Rush. But first, let's see how accurate the data mine leak is in comparison to the data mine chart. We already knew the tracks for the Golden Dash Cup and Lucky Cat Cup ever since the DLC has been announced. So, the first cup is the Turnip Cup. The Turnip Cup data mines have found a Tor track, a SNES track, a 64 track, and a DS track. This is 100% accurate. As for the Turnip Cup, we have Tor New York Minute, SNES Mario Circuit 3, N64 Calamari Desert, and DS Waluigi Pinball. For the Propeller Cup, it was data mined a Tor track, a GBA track, a Wii track, and a new track. This is also 100% accurate, as the tracks for the Propeller Cup are Tour Sydney Sprint, GBA Snowland, Wheat Mushroom Gorge, and Sky High Sunday. For the Moon Cup, it was data mined a Tour track, a DS track, a GBA track, and a 3DS track. This is 75% accurate, as we got London Loop, GBA Boo Lake, 3DS Rock Rock Mountain, and Wee Maple Treeway, and the DS track actually got moved to the Moon Cup. I am not counting the placement for the track if it got moved to a new placement in the Cup, as long as it is in the Cup. For the Moon Cup, we were given a Tour track, a Double Dash track, a New track, and a 3DS track. Once again, 75% accurate, as the tracks we got in that Cup were Tour Berlin Byways, DS Peach Gardens, Mary Mountain, and 3DS Rainbow Road, and the Double Dash track, in this case, what I stated, Waluigi Stadium, was supposed to be in the Moon Cup, but it got moved to the Rock Cup and got replaced by Wii Maple Treeway in the same cup. The Fruit Cup is next, and the tracks that was data mined was a Tour track, a Wii track, a DS track, and a New track. This is 75% accurate, as the DS track got moved to the Boomerang Cup, and the GBA track in the Boomerang Cup got moved to the Fruit Cup. The tracks we were given were Tour Amsterdam Drift, GBA Riverside Park, Wii DK Summit, and Yoshi's Island. For the Boomerang Cup, it was data mined a Tour track, a Double Dash track, a GBA track, and another Tour track. As I stated, 
the Boomerang Cup and Fruit Cup had the DS and GBA tracks switched, so this is 75% accurate. As the tracks we got in the Boomerang Cup were Tour Bangkok Rush, DS Mario Circuit, GCN Waluigi Stadium, and Tour Singapore Speedway. And since I am not deducting percentages on the placement of tracks in each cup, when I get to the predictions for the remaining tracks, they can be in any order as long as they are in the cup. So far, I would say the data mines for the number of courses per Mario Kart game is pretty accurate, although some tracks had to be switched around. In the data mine leak, we are expected to have the following. Five new tour tracks, one more SNES track, one more GBA track, three more Double Dash tracks, two more Wii tracks, and four new tracks that may or may not have been in tour prior to its debut in 8 Deluxe, such as Sky High Sunday and Yoshi's Island, as they are the only tracks that debuted in 8 Deluxe and then debuted in tour later. And now onto the second piece of the puzzle, the music leaks. What I mean by music leaks is what you may not realize is after the release of Wave 2, data miners have found one second snippets of music that was found in the files for almost a quarter of the selected tracks to be featured before they were announced to be in 8 Deluxe. The tracks that had their music leaked after the launch of Wave 2 were London Loop, Peach Gardens, Boo Lake, Rock Rock Mountain, Berlin Byways, Waluigi Stadium, Mary Mountain, 3DS Rainbow Road, Amsterdam Drift, Singapore Speedway, Los Angeles Laps, Sunset Wilds, Bangkok Rush, Vancouver Velocity, and Maple Treeway. Sure, some of the music didn't quite match up to the final version. I mean, like, listen to Peach Garden's music leak in comparison to the final version of Peach Garden's, for example. As of Wave 4, the tracks that had their music leaked that aren't used in 8 Deluxe are Tour Los Angeles Laps, Tour Vancouver Velocity, and GBA Sunset Wilds. I stated from the first prediction that there is going to be one more GBA track that is expected to be in 8 Deluxe. And since Sunset Wilds had its music leaked, it is safe to say that Sunset Wilds will take that last GBA slot in the booster course pass. The third prediction are ID names that were found by data miners in the files for Mario Kart Tour that aren't in 8 Deluxe yet. I am no data miner, but I saw the ID names from a video that I was watching about the Mario Kart Tour's preview reaction of Piranha Plant Co. And here are the ID names. Excluding Mob YI, which is Yoshi's Island, these file names include Mob OR, Mob NU, Mob MD, Mob BR, Mob AT, Mob MU, and Mob DK. Based on the 8 Deluxe data mine chart and waves 5 through 6 combined, we are expected 5 new city tracks and 4 new tracks. Since we are getting Piranha Plant Cove, Los Angeles Laps, and Vancouver Velocity in one or both of these waves, that is a total of 6 tracks total that I haven't discussed yet. 3 Tour City Tracks, and 3 New Tracks. But what do these file names mean? Well, by piecing the file names together and fitting them by Mario Kart game, I am predicting that we are getting City Tracks based off of Orlando, Florida for Mob OR, Athens, Greece for Mob AT, and Madrid, Spain for Mob MD. Mob NU is Piranha Plant Co. because there was an image found in Mob NU based on the Moray Eel from Mario 64, and it just so happens that Piranha Plant Cove has a Moray Eel, and the NU could mean night underwater, and you are driving underwater at nighttime in Piranha Plant Cove, so that takes care of that. It is worth noting that the datamine file Mob BR is hinted to be a bathroom track because there were images found of bath bombs, rubber duckies, and a file name called Jump Clothespin, meaning we are jumping off of a clothespin. And Mob DK, in my prediction, is to be a Donkey Kong track because of the initials DK. As for Mob MU, I have no idea what that track is data mine to be. 
Guess we'll find out. This is the fourth prediction in this video, and it is the meat and potatoes of this video. And it involves the retro tracks that are already in tour. So here is where I will fill in the remaining retros. In tour, the SNES tracks that are in tour that are in 8 Deluxe include Donut Plains 3 and Rainbow Road. For the SNES tracks in tour not in 8 Deluxe, we have Mario Circuit 1 and 2, Donut Plains 1 and 2, Vanilla Lake 1 and 2, Ghost Valley 1 and 2, Choco Island 1 and 2, and Koopa Beach 2. For the remaining SNES track, I am placing Vanilla Lake 1 in for the remaining SNES track. I have no idea why, because the SNES tracks are already basic as they are. Next up is the GBA track, which I already summed up Sunset Wilds, but now onto the Double Dash tracks. And the only tracks that are in Double Dash that are in Tour include Yoshi Circuit, Baby Park, Dino Dino Jungle, DK Mountain, Daisy Cruiser, and pretty soon Waluigi Stadium thanks to it being in Wave 4 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. And because there are three more Double Dash tracks, I am placing Dino Dino Jungle, DK Mountain, and Daisy Cruiser in for the remaining Double Dash tracks as Yoshi Circuit and Baby Park are already in 8 Deluxe before the DLC was announced. And finally we have the Wii tracks. The Wii tracks that are in tour that are not in 8 Deluxe include Koopa Cape, Rainbow Road, and Dry Dry Ruins. Since there are only two slots left for the Wii tracks, this one may be a battle between the three. Since Koopa Cape has been data mined to be in Wave 2, but got replaced by Mushroom Gorge, there is still hope for Koopa Cape to be in the fifth wave. And there is no doubt that Rainbow Road will be in the past, thanks to the data mine of a Wii track being the final track after a new track. So it makes sense to add Rainbow Road as this track. I mean, what do you expect about Wave 3 with Merry Mountain, followed by 3DS Rainbow Road in the Moon Cup? So Wii Rainbow Road is the perfect track to give out that one final jolt like a 9 volt battery when the booster course pass is completely filled. So there we have it. That is my track prediction for the remaining two waves of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see ya.